This question is a good example of why the, the sine law, cosine law doesn't work very well for these problems. And that's because this has more than two vectors adding together. So you're, gonna just, you're not going to get a triangle. So you have to solve this, for example, using components. And what we tend to do is we pick a reference frame. So in this example, the person is walking along the ground. So I kind of think like a straight up, down, left, right is sort of, or forward, backward would be your classic um, reference frame. We can make that positive, forward positive, backward negative, down negative, up positive. That can be our sign convention. Um, and then what we would do is we would put those reference, those lines. Let me get another color here. What color do I want to do this? We can make the, well, I'll just do gray. Um, we can make the frame of reference like this. Like this is going to go straight up and down and I'm going to make this my coordinate system. So this is my x-axis and this is my y-axis. And ultimately, one of the reasons we do this is because if this person is dragging this, this um, object, this roller bag, what's going to end up happening is this roller bag is going to accelerate or move at least in this direction. We don't actually know if it will accelerate until we finish the problem. But now let's just look. So then what we got to do is we're going to set up equations and there's going to be two. So we'll first ta tackle the x direction. So F net in the x direction is equal to some of the forces in the x direction. And then look at our looking at our diagram. Remember this equation, where does this come from? It always comes from the diagram. So what we're saying here is that F net equals what are the x? What are the forces acting in the x diagram? Well, a, F A doesn't really act in the x diagram, but it does have a component in the x direction, if that makes sense. So I can make a component of F A in the x direction, but also a component of F A in the y direction, right? And I'm going to give those names. I'm going to call this F A Y, and I'll call this F A X. So when I go to put this into my, my equation, I would say, okay, well, it's not FA entirely, it's just FA in the X direction. That's pulling forward, and then it's opposed, friction is opposing it, so minus FF. So the net force in the X direction is FAX minus FF. Well, I have numbers for these. Well, I don't exactly yet. Let's just, let's just come back to that. Um, the other thing we'll do is F at net in the y direction is equal to the sum of the forces in the y direction. So what do we have in the y direction? Well, we have the normal force acting up. We have gravity acting down. So we could say Fn minus Fg. And then we have this partial force, right? This Fay. And it's kind of acting upwards. So I would say plus Fa in the y direction. Now we got to put in some numbers here. So we can do this. We can do this because some of these, I'll, I'll highlight them, some of these quantities have, so, have equations that we can look to. So let's start with the FAX and FAY. Um, FAX, FA in the X direction, is simply FA cosine of 40 degrees. And in this case, FA is 100, 100 cos 40. And that equals 100 cos 40 is 76.6 newtons. OK. And then Fy, we want to know what's the, the applied force in the y direction. It's equal to Fa sine 40. And this just equals 100 sine of 40. So then we get, doing the math, we get 64.27. Point two, let's say 279 newtons. All right. Um, there's one other equation we have, and that's Fg. We know that Fg, I'll do it over here. Fg, oops, I don't want to make it that fat. Um, Fg is equal to, remember, this is, a, this is a given equation. You'll always know that Fg is equal to mass Times, grav times the acceleration of gravity. The mass, they tell us, is 10 kilograms times 9.8. So Fg is equal to 98 newtons. So now we can go ahead and plug this stuff in. 
let's start with the x. f net in the x direction is equal to f a x, which is 76.6, minus f f, which they tell us is 25. When we do that, we get f net in the x equal to 51.6 newtons. f net in the y is equal to f n, which they tell us is 34 newtons, minus f g, which we found to be 38, oops, 98 newtons, and then plus 64.279. And if you do a little bit of rounding, um, you'll find that this is virtually zero newtons. So there is no acceleration in the vertical. That makes sense, right? Because this, this, um, this roller bag isn't getting lifted off the ground or falling through the ground. It's just moving along horizontally. It's moving along in the X. And so now we can say that, yes, in fact, this acceleration I drew in here is accurate because um, we know that it's there because um, it's got a net force in that direction. This is the net force in the direction, that, and then it's going to accelerate in that direction. Okay, so my final answer is the net force is 51 newtons. That's all I need to say. The net force is 51 or 50, you can even say 52, you can say 51.6 newtons. That's it.